Welcome to this video that's going to teach you more about the queen archetype. If you're the kind of person who's committed to your own personal growth and understand that the introspective work you do on yourself can lead to out to success in all areas of your life and business, then you're going to love this series about the 12 archetypes. Hi, my name's Abigail. I'm an over 40 content creator and consultant, and I help other midlife women align their online identity with their inherent personal identity. I do that through content creation consultation based on personality archetypes and follow through all the way to photo and video production. When you have a deeper understanding of yourself, you're able to more easily recognize patterns of behavior, thought, emotion, and beliefs that both hinder and help your personal and professional journey. With this insight, you're able to course correct and realign the traits and characteristics that are authentically part of your inherent makeup. If you've ever felt like a square peg being jammed into a round hole and just not finding the fit, it's likely you're forcing yourself into someone else's idea of a desirable reality. In truth, we all have unique drivers and motivations that we're born with and all too often, due to a lack of awareness and understanding, we find ourselves pursuing an outcome we don't even want, simply because that outcome was presented to us as the only option. When you realize who you really are, it's easier to define what you really want and start taking steps towards a reality that aligns with your true nature. If you don't yet know your dominant archetype, be sure to pause this video and take my free archetype quiz. It'll take you about 10 minutes to complete and then you can hop back on here to finish this video with more clarity. If you've already taken the quiz and you know your archetype, but this isn't the one, head to my channel, check out the playlist on the 12 archetypes and find the video relating to your dominant archetype. So without further ado, let's dig into understanding more about the queen archetype. The queen, ruler, boss, royalist. The price of greatness is responsibility. Winston Churchill. The queen archetype is drawn to leadership and the active exertion of influence. You use your power to attain outcomes, maintain orderliness, and ensure the best possible results for the projects you're part of. You have a knack for understanding the hierarchical structures of various groups and can determine who the leaders are and who the followers are. You willingly take on responsibility and you enjoy being the person in charge. The part of you that's a queen assumes you need to be in control for your own sake and for the sake of others. The queen is drawn to power while others might retract from it, and she becomes easily irked when incompetence results in disorder and ineffectiveness. The queen understands the importance of confidence and assertiveness in the pursuit of gold attainment. She thrives in social structuring and is able to ascertain when to get involved and when to allow an existing effective process to continue. The queen in you tends to notice where the authority lies and what tools are required to attain power. The queen is well versed with the benefits of status, image and prestige and the role these factors play in establishing and maintaining power. A queen easily understands and recognizes the dynamics of a social system and uses that insight to attain her goals. The queen's story outlines the acceptance of responsibility for her own circumstances and behaviors and building the skills and experience to eventually take a step into a leadership role. This could start on the playground and extend into the family and workplace. When the queen encounters a problem, she institutes procedures and systems to solve the current challenge and ensure it doesn't happen again in the future. Activities and tasks fulfilling to a queen include sussing out situations, making decisions and getting organized. Some do this from the top down, delegating and instructing, while others might focus on upscaling and empowering people, getting their feedback and insight and rallying the troops. All queens know that effective social structures don't happen by accident. Someone needs to facilitate that process and she's happy to take on that responsibility. The part of you that's the queen finds happiness in planning and strategizing about how to best expand and maintain her position of authority and how to groom her followers. A queen feels immensely gratified knowing that everything went well because of her and being recognized as an effective leader is a source of fulfillment for her. My hope is that after watching this video, you've got more clarity about the queen archetype. Remember, if you don't yet know your archetype, please be sure to go and do my free quiz over at abigailk.com forward slash quiz. This video will resonate a lot more when you know which archetype is your most dominant. If you'd like to learn how you can use personality archetypes to express your personal brand with more clarity and confidence, check out my class on Skillshare. And now over to you. Let me know in the comments three ways in which you're going to start intentionally expressing your dominant archetype. That could mean changing the way you dress or the jewelry you wear. Or perhaps you're going to take up a new hobby that you've always wanted to do, but you felt others wouldn't approve. 
If it aligns with your archetype, start that hobby. Or perhaps you're ready to make the commitment or to change your lifestyle to bring it more into alignment with who you inherently are. I'm excited to see how this awareness transforms your life.